Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type it on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser space capital M period capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field and look down for those minerals and collect them. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period. It is with your support that I'm able to buy more materials to do fascinating scientific and geology videos on. Today's video is on the quantization of energy. To see more about this subject and an in-depth study, type it on YouTube, Quantum Mechanics Part 1, followed by my name, Frank Reiser, M period S period. This is going to be Quantum Mechanics Part 3. The demonstration is going to show that zinc sulfide luminescent phosphor which phosphoresces upon exposure to light from 300 to 700 nanometers in wavelength will emit light. It's used on such things as the numbers on clocks and wrist, wrist watches. I'm going to take a laser beam that emits only one type of quanta of energy in the green frequency and I'm going to move it over the zinc sulfide luminescent phosphor and I want you to observe the fact that the luminescent phosphor does not light up where I move the laser beam over it. But when I expose the zinc sulfide luminescent phosphor to an incandescent light bulb which emits spectra from 700 to 300 nanometers and the rainbow, whole rainbow frequency, you'll see that the luminescent phosphor absorbs energy in the violet range of 300 nanometers because in the 300 nanometer range the light that's being emitted, the, the light from the light bulb is of a specific frequency that will excite the luminescent phosphor. What I'm saying is the luminescent phosphor will absorb quanta of a specific frequency of energy and will luminesce. Other frequencies, as in the red, orange, yellow, and green bandwidths, do not excite the luminescent phosphor and it will remain dark. I'll then expose the luminescent phosphor to the light bulb turn off the light bulb and you will see it glow. The luminescent phosphor consists of electrons and atoms. The electrons orbit the atom. When a specific frequency of energy is absorbed by electron, and not all frequencies of energy, it has to be specific, specific enough to excite the electrons, the electrons jump to a higher energy orbital state. Then on their own, they return to the original orbital state and emit radiation energy in the process. The energy that they emit will be in the form of light. The luminescent phosphor will glow a specific frequency of green light. The electrons will absorb violet light of 300 nanometers and they will emit light of around 500 nanometers. The amount of energy is quantized. It's very specific. Let's get to the demonstration. Underneath here is a luminescent phosphor covered by an opaque dish. I'm going to turn the light bulb off but before I do here's my laser pointer that emits green light around 500 nanometers in that specific frequency range. Watch how when I move the laser beam over the zinc sulfide it does not glow.
I'm moving the laser beam over the layer of zinc sulfide, luminescent phosphor. And as I do so, when I turn the laser beam off, notice it is not glowing on the trail of where I moved the laser beam over. Now I'm going to turn on the incandescent light bulb. I have a diffraction grating that if I place over the camera will show the frequency frequencies of electromagnetic light energy being emitted from the light bulb and you will see that they are contiguous almost between the red and the violet here's the light bulb and then you can see the rainbow show up from green blue red orange and yellow and violet across the diffraction grating. Now that continuous spectrum of light energy is being exposed to the zinc sulfide luminescent phosphor and when I turn it off notice now it is glowing indicating that it absorbed energy of 300 nanometers and is emitting light energy at 500 nanometers. And that's characteristic of electrons orbiting a nucleus. They absorb energy at one frequency, specifically one frequency and no other frequencies, the quanta of energy of a specific frequency, and then they emit the energy on another wavelength of specific amount of energy, the zinc sulfide is emitting green light around 500 nanometers or around there, but it's specific. I just don't know off the top of my head what that frequency is. And it glows. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down.